opposed this amendment because of the impact on the Dairy Security Act. Um, in addition to serving on this committee, I'm honored to serve on the Agriculture Committee. And first, I have a report by a respected voice in agriculture from the University of Missouri. I'd like to ask for unanimous consent to have this included in the record. Without objection, it will be made part of the record. Thank you. Um, this report talks about the impact of the Dairy Security Act on farm level milk prices and says they may rise only one half of one cent per gallon because of the Dairy Security Act. In addition, the current volatility in the market is far more harmful to consumers than that change. Um, recently, the Agriculture Committee held an all-day markup of the Farm Bill where there were extensive policy discussions on a number of issues, including the Dairy Security Act. And while the overall bill is certainly not a perfect bill, the Dairy Security Act is one of the most crucial elements. There have already been, there's already been a lengthy debate about the need for new dairy policy, and that took place in the Agriculture Committee where efforts to remove the stabilization program failed, um, because an amendment that failed. If this committee is going to debate policies in the Farm Bill, especially things like the dairy market, then let's, t let's talk about having hearings where folks can be educated on these issues. Um, let's also talk about other issues like cuts to nutrition, nutrition programs like SNAP. Why are we implementing studies to determine the impact on a necessary stabilization program for dairy that's good for farmers and consumers, but not studying the impact that indiscriminate cuts to SNAP will have on children, working families, and our seniors? Mr. Chairman, if we're going to have a debate on the Farm Bill today, let's have a debate on the impact of cutting free school lunches for 210,000 children. Uh, let's have a debate on the impact that these cuts will have on over 50 million hungry people living in our country. Um, this is not the time or the place for this debate. We should be working on issues relevant to the Judiciary Committee, like comprehensive immigration reform, updating the Electronic Communications Privacy Act, um, talking about the Marketplace Fairness Act. Our time would be better spent on these pressing issues rather than rehashing arguments from other committees. Um, I urge my colleagues to vote no would on this amendment. Would the lady uh, yield? I, I yield. To Thank you very much, and uh, we appreciate your and understand your concerns that you've articulated. Uh, and your mention about uh, some very important parts of the agriculture bill, uh, certainly I, uh, I would like to talk about too, especially SNAP, the, the food stamp bill. Uh, the only problem is that it's not in our jurisdiction. And so uh, we would be far afield in trying to assert our, our jurisdiction uh, under our rulemaking, uh, under the rulemaking authority, and then go uh, and violate uh, our, our jurisdiction to talk about important, I, I agree with you, important agricultural issues that are not within the jurisdiction of the committee. One of the things in this amendment includes studies on the impact of the dairy stabilization program. Um, if we're going to do studies on things, then let's do studies also on food nutrition programs. There's nothing unique to dairy um, in this particular case, and that seems to be singled out in this amendment. Um, and frankly, that's not, this is an appropriate use of this amendment. Would, would the gentlewoman yield? Yeah. I thank the gentleman for yielding. I just want to assure her that we do not take out the dairy stabilization program. In fact, we simply allow more public comment input by using the Administrative Procedures Act, which is the standard process for examining any new program, as well as the Congressional Review Act. So all we're asking is that when uh, this program, if it is still in the Farm Bill, when the Farm Bill finally passes the House and the Senate, they work out their differences and pass a conference report and send it to the President, that uh, when the department gets the new programs, and not just dairy, we haven't singled out dairy because new uh, conservation programs in here and others are required to go through the Administrative Procedures Act. Now, a part of that process uh, is to uh, request that the agency uh, do studies, but those studies do not dictate any finding any outcome. The outcome might well be that uh, this program uh, will do great things, will reduce prices or will stabilize prices or do other things. It simply says that they should be studied so that as the rulemaking process is done, it can be done in a fair way with consumers, consumer groups, uh, agricultural groups, dairy processors and others have the opportunity to be heard 
uh, on the issue. But it does not in any way impair uh, what occurred in the Agriculture Committee in terms of having uh, the dairy stabilization program in the, uh, in the Farm Bill. We don't have jurisdiction over that. We're not attempting to exercise jurisdiction beyond what this committee has jurisdiction for. And I want to assure the gentlewoman that I appreciate her concerns. We have a different point of view about the program, but that remains to be debated at a later time. And, and uh, uh, we welcome her views being expressed here, like mine were expressed here, but we don't have the ability to change the program other than to say it has to go through the normal rulemaking process that any new regulation should go through to give the public uh, and interested parties the opportunity to have input. Will the gentleman yield? I'd be happy to yield to the gentleman from. Uh, I don't have the time. The gentlewoman from Washington has the time. Um, I. The, the I'll be happy to yield in a I'll second. I tell you I, what, the gentleman's time has expired, so maybe I should just recognize okay, the gentleman go ahead. from Wisconsin. Yeah, I move to strike the last word. The gentleman's recognized for five minutes. Uh, let me commend uh, the chairman of the committee for exerting jurisdiction on this, irrespective of what the merits are. Uh, Prior to my chairmanship, we had two or three chairs, both Democrats and Republicans, that basically let jurisdiction go, and we lost jurisdiction over a lot of important things to other committees. Uh, because once we let jurisdiction go, it is really very, very hard to get it back. Now, I remember the first fight that I picked during my chairmanship was to get antitrust jurisdiction over telecoms. Uh, back in this committee because we have antitrust jurisdiction from top to bottom and because uh, Mr. Hyde, Mr. Brooks uh, chose not to exert that jurisdiction, we lost it to energy and commerce. So uh, what we're doing here today uh, has something overriding into the power and influence of the Committee on the Judiciary uh, that we had better protect because if we don't protect it, we're going to lose it. Uh, and that's happened in the past, and we don't want to have that happen again. Uh, so uh, having made that point, let me say good job, Mr. Chairman. Keep it up, even if we have to have more of these uh, markups over just a short part of the bill, because if we don't do that, then all of a sudden we're going to find the Administrative Procedure Act uh, and uh, the public requirements of input uh, go to another committee that really has no expertise in it. With that, I yield back. Uh, would the gentleman yield? Oh, I'm uh, reclaiming my time. I do yield to the chairman. I appreciate uh, the gentleman's comments and yielding. And I just want to say to the gentlewoman, again, to provide her assurance, uh, the studies that uh, are, are called for uh, include uh, the domestic or international government-funded nutrition programs, uh, consumers, and competition in domestic dairy markets. So uh, it covers, I think, some of the concerns the gentlewoman raised about what the impact of this program would have on various uh, interested groups, including, most importantly, nutrition programs and consumers. Would the gentleman, I yield the gentleman, the gentleman from yield. Michigan. Uh, I would like to just compliment uh, uh, both the chairman and the former chairman, Mr. Sensenbrenner, uh, because uh, these uh, additional uh, protections, I call them, were added as a result of our negotiation here in the judiciary. The uh, nutrition programs, the, uh, but we added consumers and competition in domestic dairy markets. And I think that's very uh, important and I think it makes it a better bill, and, and I thank the gentleman for yielding. I now yield back the balance of my time. I thank the gentleman. Are there further members seeking recognition on the amendment? If not, the question occurs on the amendment offered by the chairman. Those in favor respond by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, no. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it, and the amendment is agreed to. A reporting core, are there further amendments? A reporting quorum being present, the question is on the motion to report the bill H.R. 1947 as amended without recommendation to the House. Those in favor respond by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, no. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it, and the bill as amended is ordered reported without recommendation. And that uh, yeah. concludes our business today. I thank all of the members for their participation. And the meeting is adjourned. Thank you.